Hello, in this video we show you how to perform a software update on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So with your device switched on, scroll down from the top, click the settings icon, click general, scroll down to the bottom to about device. At the top you'll see the option for software update. If you tap on that, you'll then get the following options. You'll see auto update and Wi-Fi only are generally ticked. With auto update ticked, you will automatically get notification of any updates that are available for your device. With Wi-Fi only ticked, it will mean that any updates are available are automatically downloaded when you're connected to a wireless network. If you untick auto update, you will have to manually go and check for updates. If you untick Wi-Fi only, it's not gonna download the update automatically. You're gonna have to manually tell it to do that. Now you'll actually see that at the top we've got a little notification here that shows that our device has actually downloaded automatically an update. If you also not, you could click update and you'd be given the opportunity to actually scan for an update for your device. But because this is already downloaded one, we've got the following options. Now it says update package downloaded, install now. Now you can have the option as identified by this green tick to schedule update. So if you have that ticked and click install, you'll get an option here to change the time at which your updates take place. So if you imagine that you had an update coming through every day, you won't by the way, and there was a preferred time where you're not using your device and you wanted it to do the update, providing the phone is switched on, the update will take place that time. But that's entirely up to you, so you can configure the time by changing the time just here to your preference. If you're happy, you click OK. If you don't want to do that, click Cancel. And if you don't want it scheduled, untick it. Read through the information, it generally tells you the size of the file and, and what it does so it's to improve uh, stability here. It tells you a little bit about the update procedure so that basically you can't use your phone whilst it's actually updating. You can click later to actually delay doing the update now or if you're happy to proceed click install. So it tells you the device will be rebooted, you don't really have much choice here, you click OK. Now, the length of time that the update takes will depend on the size of the update, um, but it generally takes a few minutes. Your device will actually power down, as we're seeing now. It will reboot itself, and you'll generally get a little Android figure come up on screen and a loading bar. Here we go. So you can see it's uh, installing the system update, and it gives you a little percentage uh, of, as to how well it's going. So this is actually going reasonably quickly, but sometimes it can take uh, considerably longer, depending again on the size of the updates. So this is just a stability update, so it's likely uh, to take less time. So if we just let that run through, And it is important to note that whilst it's doing the update, don't touch it, just let, let it get on with it. If it freezes or something like that, and you don't get any response to the device for a considerable amount of time, then you need to take further action and speak to Samsung. But if it seems to be taking a while, just, just leave it. The best thing you can do then is connect it to mains power to ensure that the battery doesn't run out. It's got sufficient power to, to keep uh, the update going. Um, but better still is to make sure your battery is well charged before actually doing the update and just leaving it like this, not connected to the mains because forcing power into the device when it's doing an update can sometimes affect it. It's rare, but um, it's just a, a little tip there. So you'll see that once it's gone through the update pattern, we'll then boot back into the Note 3 screen We'll boot the device up as if uh, we were just switching it on again as normal. And then within a few seconds, we should be booted back up to the home screen. The update will have been completed. You may get this message. And then finally, you normally get a confirmation message where when this is completed to say that the update has been completed either successfully. If for some reason the update hasn't been completed successfully, you can try again, or you may need to wait for a further update to come through because there may be a problem with that file that includes the update procedure. So we're gonna let that run through and that finalizes this video on how to update the Samsung Galaxy Note 3.